Hello, we are going to see in this video how to design a model in Matello to generate automatically some test cases and KPL test script to be executed in the tool vector canoe. The model which is used in this demonstration represents a car locking system. The goal of this model is to check the system's behavior depending on the actions from the user, like locking or unlocking the car. We also want to check that the system will automatically close the car if the user has reached a defined target speed. Here it is set to 50 km per hour. This model has been created using states and transitions. A state represents a stable point of the system, while a transition is an action from the user or from the system to pass from one state to another. It is important to notice that all model information will be gathered in transitions. On a transition, you can link some requirements by a simple drag and drop. After the test case generation, it will allow you to check your requirement coverage in the model. You can also link some inputs in the stimulation node of the transition. These inputs are used to stimulate your system to reproduce the actions from the user or from the system itself, like pushing the lock or unlocking button. Or to reach a specific speed. Then, you can also link outputs in the verification node of the transition. These outputs are used to check the expected behavior of your system. Here, we want to know if the car is locked or not. If needed, you can also use some treatment functions to compute automatically an expected result depending on your inputs. Finally, you can link to a transition some test operations which will be used during the test case generation to create automatically test scripts in the language of your automation bench. Here, we want to create test scripts in KPL language to be imported and executed in the tool vector canoe. Let's see more in details what exactly are these keywords and how to build a KPL test script based on your model. In the test platform library, we have defined two types of test operations. First, the settings which are used to define the format of the generated test suits, test cases, and test steps to match with KPL scripting structure. If we open one of these test operations, we can see that we are using information from the model to generate the script, for example, the test case ID, name, length, or even the state number. Then, all kind of functions that you need to use are gathered in one file. If they already exist in your vector canoe project, you simply have to copy past them here. In another folder called measurement, we have defined basic keywords relative to the stimulation on your model and expected results you want to check. There are simple calls to the main functions which have been introduced before. When all those test operations are defined, you have to link them to the model. For the settings, we are using the test platform configuration, which makes it easy to link these settings depending on their location and abstract level in the final test script.
For the measurement, we have mapped them on every transition, which implies an action from the user or a check we need to perform. For example, in this transition, we have linked the action of the user pushing the unlock button of the car remote controller and the check we want to perform to make sure that the car is really unlocked. If needed, you can reuse the value which is randomly chosen in the equivalence class of your input defined during the test case generation. In this case, the input value is used as a parameter of your test operation. Now that the model is designed and that all inputs, outputs and test operations have been linked to the transitions, we can now move to the generation view. We can select different algorithms to be used for the test case generation depending on your testing strategy. Here, we are using the minimum coverage algorithm to cover all the different paths and features of the model. To start the generation, we can click on the generation button. After a few seconds, MATLU has generated one test case which covers 100% of the model. We can display this test case in HTML and see the different test steps, the inputs and outputs which are used, and the requirements which are covered. This test case can be directly used for manual test case execution. Then, we add this test case to our MATLAB project. To generate the test script based on this test case, we are going to export it in KPL language. If you have defined different test benches and linked their keywords on the model, it is possible to select in this wizard the format of the test script which is generated. Now that the test script has been generated based on your MATLAB model, we can execute it in the tool vector canoe. After launching the tool, we can import the generated test script. Then, we can check that it is correctly compiled by Vector Canoe. Then, we can start the simulation and the test is executed. We can see that different actions are done, like increasing or decreasing the speed, pushing the lock or unlock button, and check the associated car lock state. When the execution is finished, we can open the test report to see which step is passed or failed. In this case, all the steps are passed, so the test case is considered OK. As you saw in this tutorial, it is quick and easy to design a model and to generate automatically test cases and test scripts which can be imported and executed in the tool vector canoe. Thank you for watching this video and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any question about Matalo.